This may be the most painless Sudoku with only 17 starting digits you will ever solve. Sudoku rates it easy with a score of 496. Prove how painless this is. Try to see how far you can get into this puzzle without making a mark. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Where can a one go here in block three? See a one right here? You see this one cutting right across? That's got to be a one right there. And with these two ones, in this one, we can solve for a one up in block two. And with these two ones in this one, solve for a one in block four. Five. And then with this one and this one, only two places for a one here in block seven. I'm not going to make a mark, but I know this is a pointing pair. A, set, a one can't be anywhere else along column three outside of the block because it has to be in column three in block seven. So that means with these two ones, this one and the ones having to be right there, we can solve for one over here in block four. Greetings, friend. If you're new, welcome to Smart Hobbies. Subscribe and click the bell for notifications. If you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. We're going to try to solve this without marks. Let's see how far you and I can get. Check out the fives. Look at, you have a five right here. And you have this five coming up. So again, the fives are a pointing pair. I'm just going to show this color for you to kind of understand that a five's got to be in one of these two spots. And since it has to be one of these spots, a five can't be here anymore. And since you have this five in row one, this five in column one, we can solve for a five right there. I'll remove the color. And then with these two fives and this five, we can solve for five in block two. And with these two fives and this five, we can solve for five here in block eight. And then with this five cutting across, this five coming down, we have another pointing pair of fives in block six. So imagine there's a five in one of these spots. So it can't be here anymore. And so with this five and this five, we can solve for a five right there, right? Because we know there's going to be a five in one of these two spots. Let's look at the sixes in block one up here. You got this six, you got this six, only one place for six in block one. And now with these two sixes, six in block two. All right, we're doing great. And let's look in block four. With these two sixes, that's the only place for six in block four. How about the sevens? Well, this seven cuts straight across row two. We can put a seven right there. And then with these two sevens, we can put a seven here in block one. And then the sevens are going to act as a, a pointing pair here, right? They're going to be in row four or row six in block four there. And this is kind of cool. So I want you to see this. You notice that, let's look at row five. Seven can't be here in row five. It also cannot be here in row five. So it can't be in row five in blocks four or six. So that means a seven has to be in row five and block five. And so, because this, this seven can't be here, but one of these two spots has got to contain a seven. Okay, this is a claiming pair. What it means is a seven can no longer be anywhere else in block five because a seven has to be in row five. It can only fit in this block. So this cell and this cell can't be a seven. I want to keep that there because I want you to remind me that the sevens are limited in block five to these two cells. I cover claiming pairs along with the other top Sudoku strategies in my Sudoku solving guide. What this means to you is you can become an expert in over 80% of all the Sudokus you'll ever see. Click on the pinned comment to get it for free and start sharpening your mind now. You want a sharper mind, right? All right, let's sharpen that mind and look at the eights. You have these two eights and this eight. You can solve for an eight in block five. And then with these two eights, solve for an eight up here in block two. And then because we have an eight covering this cell and this eight covers these two cells, and this eight now covers here, we can solve for an eight in column one up here in block one. Now look at the nines. We can go right across row one here. I bet we can solve all of this without any marks. We have a one, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need a two, three, and a nine. I'm about to show you my neat naked triple trick. Whenever you have two of the candidates looking at one of those cells, so this two, three looks at this cell, 
and another can repeats on another, this two actually looks at this cell as well, we can solve all three. Because we know this has to be the nine. This is the only place the two can go, and that has to be your three. Awesome. We just did a neat naked triple trick. Give me a thumbs up if you knew you could solve this whole row. Okay, one more cell here in block one. It's got to be a four. And then this three cutting across allows us to solve for three right here. And we have just a naked pair. It looks like a two nine right there. We'll just keep that in our memory. Each puzzle's got a story. Yoshi Broshi, he sent me this puzzle after he posted it on the Puzzle Expo related to Logic Masters in you. A lot of great puzzles out there. Thank you, Yoshi, for this fun classic featuring only 17 digits. You too can send me your puzzles, whether you find it on a website or you made it yourself through Discord, Instagram, Reddit, or email. Uh, just check the links below and send it to me. I'd love to help you out. Look now on block four. All right, where can a four go in here? All right, this four is down on um, one. This four cuts across. Woo, getting a little funky there. This four cuts across. That's going to be your four. And now with the seven coming down, that's got to be your seven in block four. All right, let's look for threes now. You got this three coming down. Column um, this three cutting across. Only place for three in block five is right there. And now with these two threes and this three, we can solve for three in block six. Let's go to row six. Now we just filled out a three. All we have left is a two and a nine. And now I'm going to be able to solve this cell right here because I know that's a two. How can we do it? Well, we know there's a two nine right here. We know there's a two nine right there. Because of this two, this has got to be your nine. That's got to be your two. That's got to be your nine. That's got to be your two. That's called my right angle trick. Learn this in some other solving tricks in my solving combos tutorial. Okay, let's look right here. We can solve this cell. Let's see if we can. That can't be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, can't be a four, can't be a five. Looks like it could be a six or a seven. It definitely can't be an eight or a nine. But if you remember, I had you put these blue in here so that we remind ourselves that this is a claiming pair of sevens. This cell can't be a seven. It has to be a six. So we use that claiming pair to solve that for a six. Like how that works? If you find value how I'm showing you to solve 17 digit Sudokus without marks, consider buying me a coffee or simply click on the super thanks within YouTube. I'd really appreciate it. And now we know this is these three digits are a locked triple, right? It can't be a one, two, three, five, six, eight. They gotta be a four, seven, or a nine, which means a four, seven, nine cannot be anywhere else along row five. And so you have a two nine here. This can't be a nine anymore. That's gotta be your two. That's gotta be your nine. And with these two sixes, this has to be a six. And now we can look down with these two sixes and this six and these two sixes, we can solve this for six with these two and these two, we can solve for six here in block nine. We're actually starting to solve some more cells down here a little bit lower. Let's look at column nine. Where can a five go here? Okay, these two fives can't be here. And this five can't be here. This is the only place to put a five. So we can solve that for a five. And then we need a two or a seven. I got my seven right there. I'm gonna pull it down from block three. So that's a seven, and that's going to be your two. And then let's look at row seven. All right, what can we do here? Well, first of all, we have a full house. We're only missing one digit. An easier way to see this is that you see these two threes. That's got to be your three. And then with these two fives and these two fives, we can solve for a five right here. Now we have five digits for that. We need a two, four, seven, and a nine. I see a two, four, seven right here. This is a naked single nine. And now I bet we can use our neat naked triple trick to finish the rest. We need a two, four, and a seven. Well, I see a four and a seven right here, and I see the four repeated right there. Anytime you have that, you can solve all three digits, right? Because this has to be a two. The only place a four is going right there, and this has got to be your seven. Okay, nice, neat naked triple trick. I bet we can use it again. But here, was this, these two sevens means this has to be a seven. And then with this four, that's going to be your four. And that's going to be your nine right there. We have a 
whole house. So I know I can solve this cell for a nine with certainty. And then with this nine, we can solve for a nine right there. And this is gonna be your eight. Okay, we have another full house right here. So I don't see a four in column four, so that's gotta be your four. All right, let's see if we can do the neat naked triple trick right here. Got a one, two, three, five, six, seven, we need a four, eight, and a nine. Well, I see a four and a nine right here. I see a nine repeat right there. Guarantee we can solve all three cells. That has to be your eight. Only place a nine goes right there. And this is gonna be your four. I just love showing you that trick. Okay, and in this cell, we look for a two and a four. I got my four right here. That's a four, that's gonna be your two. I don't see a two here in block eight, so that's gotta be your two, and that's gotta be your three. All right, and these two threes, and this three, this is gonna be a three for us. Okay, and then we have another full house. We know when there's eight digits in a house, in this case is a column, we can solve the ninth one with certainty. That's gotta be your one. I don't see a one in block seven. I'm gonna pull the one over, so that's gotta be your one. That's gotta be your seven. I don't see a seven over here, so that's gotta be your seven. And the last digit is an eight. If you can solve this next puzzle without marks, I bet you can. Thank you so much for watching.